Hey guys, Joe here, and we're doing another tier list made quick. So today we're doing the avatar bending and subbending tier list. And for this, specifically on the point of blood bending, I am. Mm, I don't like to consider a mon because I feel like it just has to be god tier then. So for a mon, it's god tier. But. For other characters where you can only use it during the full moon, I think it's just amazing. And it's super hard to learn. So overall, I'm giving it amazing. It might be controversial. Combustion bending? Not gonna lie. Okay, it's really good, but it's got a lot of weaknesses. The eye on the forehead, if you hit that, it you can't do it anymore and it just kills you, I think, if you try to do it. Like a metal thing around their head just stops them completely. It's strong until you find out its weaknesses. Flight, flight's god tier. Like you're flying. How could that not be god tier? Firebending, in my opinion, is the worst of the bendings, the main styles. I just think, like, not including the sub bendings. Like, air, you can move really quickly and do a lot of great things. You're really nimble. And then, water's kind of ass on its own, too, actually. Like, not considering ice. Ice is really good, though. I'm putting ice in amazing. Lava bending's god tier. Metal bending's god tier. Mud bending is pretty bad. Air bending's really good. Earth bending's amazing. These aren't ordered except for this one. Seismic sense is god tier for sure. I think Toph's just god tier, to be honest. It's kind of her category. Spirit projection, I want to hate it, but being able to see through walls, it's just a worse seismic sense. I'm going to put it in really good. Healing is decent. I don't know, I'd rather just not need the heals, you know? Swamp endings, kind of bad. Lightning, honestly, yeah, it was made out to be good at the start of the Avatar show, but it's kind of, it's kind of just okay. Alright, that's going to be all. This one was actually made pretty quick. Thanks for watching, guys.